Hello and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I pick apart the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. Here's a tournament game in which everything one team tries goes wrong. It was played at a beautiful facility in St. George, Utah for players at the 3.5 level, ages 60 to 65. So what do you do when nothing is working? Well, you have to change your tactics. Maybe start targeting the weaker player. Stop hitting third shot drives and start hitting third shot drops. Stop lobbing. Make sure you do the easy things. Get your serves in. Get your return of serves in. I mean, what do you do in this situation? Please let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks to the Vaughn Litchfield YouTube channel for posting this video. Let's go. Here's the first serve. All right, so the very first point of the game, the receiving team could not get the ball back into the court. That gives the serving team a free point. They did absolutely nothing to earn it, simply got a serve in, and the returning team could not hit the ball into the court. One to nothing. Both the players in the near court are playing with Yola paddles. I happen to have a Yola Solaire as a backup paddle. And there's an unforced error right into the net, so a third shot drop that was missed. Not off to a very good start here. Maybe the players are a little bit nervous. This is a tournament. And there's a serve, and she missed her serve. So, so far, she's missed a return of serve and she has missed her serve. Again, that team is not off to a very good start. He's gonna try a lob right here. This is what I call a lollipop. a lollipop. He really should try a third shot drive or a third shot drop. What happens, he hits it about seven feet out of the court. So, so far, a missed return, a missed serve, and a lob that went seven feet out of the court. And she misses another return, giving her opponents a free point. This is just a terrible start for the team in the far court. Yet, this is at the 3.5 level. So far, they are not playing as 3.5 players. Okay, so. Watch what happens here. Here's another mistake by the lady in the pink shirt. As this ball is going out, it is at her eyes. She hits it anyway. And the gentleman in the blue shirt did a great job of getting that ball. And it is hit out of the court. Nice third shot drive. Got the fifth shot reset into the kitchen. Okay, so what happened here? The lady in pink was very, very impatient. They were doing a really nice job of dinking, but the lady in pink decided to try to speed things up. The ball was not hit high enough for her to do so, and she hit it right out of the court. And the team in the near court has gotten off to a four to nothing start. As I put in the title of the video, nothing is going right for the team in the far court. Nice quick hands by the guy in the blue shirt. And the guy in white could just not handle it. Five to nothing now. So what's happened here is the team in the far court has called an injury timeout. It seems like the guy in white may have a lower back issue. He was trying to work things out. Maybe he has it worked out now. Maybe he doesn't. Nice reset. The lady in the green shirt, I guess, in the near court is very good. That ball is hit out of the court for another unforced error. But yeah, this lady right here with the blonde hair, she's a very good player. She can hit third shot drops and resets into the kitchen. And at this point, the team in the far court has called a timeout to try to regroup as they are now losing six to nothing. 
So what would you do if you were in this situation? You might want to have a conversation with your partner and discuss some different strategy. Try to figure things out here. But at this point, it just looks like the team in the near court is much better than the team in the far court. Let's see if that changes. All right, they did something right there. They kind of body bagged the guy in the multicolored shirt. Now, if they can break this player right here, they will get the ball in hand and will have an opportunity to score some points. Third shot drive, and there's another ball that is hit about seven or eight feet out of the court. It seems like the guy in white just cannot control the ball with whatever paddle he is using. The ball continues to just fly off of his paddle and out of the court. Seven to nothing now. Third shot drive. Nice. Nice job by the lady in pink. Oh, a little lob there, which the gentleman is able to get. Too high. And she just hit it up too high, and she tells her partner, sorry about that. Now, here's one thing that the team in the forecourt has to take into consideration. They are now behind by the score of seven to nothing. However, pickleball is a game of scoring runs. Once you get ball in hand, your opponents cannot score. So here is the team in the far court's chance to make a scoring run here and to get back into the game. And unfortunately, he hits it right into the net, but they do have another chance as, of course, both players get to serve. Let's see if they can make a little run right here. All right. That's one point for the team in the far court. Let's go. Keep it going. Your opponent scored seven points in a row. It's your chance to score some points in a row. What is that? They now have two points. All right, they may be getting, be getting back into the game now. They've got to keep it going. Here's their chance. Nice. Oh, she hit it out of the court. I thought that was going to land in, but right there, she gave her opponents a free point. It's now 7-3, to three, and the team in the far court is going on a scoring run. They have got to keep it up. They have got to keep the ball in hand and not give the serve back to the opposing team. So what did he do? He hit it out of the court. That is just a fatal mistake, especially when you are trying to make a comeback you have got to get your serve into the court. So what he did is he just forfeited any opportunity to score more points on that little run they were on there because now the ball goes back to the other team. They are serving, and the team in the far court cannot score points. Just a horrible, horrible error by the guy in white. I don't want to say they should throw in the towel at this point, but I think their chances of making a comeback now are pretty much non-existent. And he hits the ball right into the net, giving the team in the near court a free point. It's now 8-3, to three, and it looks like the guy in white is either really disappointed or he's really in pain. Goodbye. 9-3 to three now. Nothing they're trying is working. They've missed... I think three return of serves now. He missed that serve. And it's just not happening. You know, lobs are sometimes a good tactic, but there has not been one lob that has worked in this game. So, you know, avoid the lobs if you can. Oh, what a nice backhand flick from almost mid-court. They're calling another timeout because they are now down 10 to 3. I'm not sure why they did that. I don't think their chances of coming back are very good.
you can kind of tell by their body language, especially the woman. She has her hands on her hips. It's like, okay, let's go ahead and get this over. One more point, and we'll go to the next game, and maybe we can win the next game and force a third game. Lob. Oh, why didn't she hit that out of the air? Goodbye. And that's the game. The team in the near court wins by the score of 11-3. to three. They totally, pretty much dominated the other team. This match went to another game, and the team in the near court won that game 11-6. to six, And they move on in the tournament to the finals, because this was the semifinal match. So there you have it. One of those games in which it just was not one of the team's day. What do you do when you don't have it? Do you continue to fight or do you just kind of go through the motions knowing that you're probably not going to win? Let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below. That's it from Pickleball Pick Apart. I really do hope you learned something from watching this video. And if you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. This is Rory saying, as always, thanks for watching and see you on the court.